friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kang and I am a mommy lifestyle vlogger, so I do cleaning videos, homemaking videos, encouraging videos, all about being mom and wife, etc. So if you guys enjoy any of those topics, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. But I am finally back, you guys, with a cleaning video. You can probably hear Peter mow in the yard in the backyard. But um, while he's doing that, the kids are down for a nap and I'm just gonna kind of pick up everything. Um, we have been gone all morning on a play day. I hung out with my friend and uh, the kids played and so uh, we just got back. We just kind of, you know, didn't do our morning routine. It's just one of those days where we're just kind of lax and um, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna clean up before dinner time and so I hope you guys will enjoy this video. I'm gonna try to do it in an hour. So this is gonna be a power hour. Okay guys, this is the state of our main areas right now, so I'm going to do a load of laundry and I'm going to clean up, you know, here's my planner and stuff. Um, <laughs> we went shopping too at Target, so I got some floaties there and yep, this is our breakfast table from this morning. Uh, yeah. So it is currently 2.10 on Thursday, June 21st. It's exactly a month since I am actually back to editing this. Hoorah. It's been a crazy fun month. Um, we went on a road trip and went to Colorado Springs specifically and New Mexico and Oklahoma. We love taking road trips in the summer and so that's what we've been doing. Um, and so yeah, I recorded this right before we left, um, thus all of the chaos around just because we were trying to get everything packed, trying to make sure we have everything for the road, etc. And so yeah, here I am with my load of laundry. I have been uh, not doing laundry every day. Um, I've been trying to do like, you know, like clothes and stuff probably once or twice a week depending on how dirty the kids are but twice is probably max for clothes and then i do like comforters bed sheets etc i rotate through them so anyway yep putting a load of laundry in i hope you guys have been doing awesome i've missed uh i feel like i always say this but i really do i do miss uh being active on here it's not that I intentionally try to go away it's just time flies by you guys and there are um, honestly just priorities in life that I can't let go of to come do this and so I have just been really uh, trying to be more intentional about finding time to do this because I do desire to do this and to inspire and encourage you guys to walk um, in the ways of the Lord uh, through this platform but yeah, here I am folding all of our blankets and stuff in our living room. I feel like I've gotten this room organized enough to wear, except for this pile. I feel like I need to declutter some of those blankets. Um, but I've gotten the living room to where I have a place for everything. And so it's so much easier to clean up. It's super fast as well, um, which I'm very happy about. So friends, as we continue to clean, or as I continue to clean in this video, I am hoping that you are cleaning as well and not just watching me. I feel like the intent of these videos is to motivate you to get things done while also um, being encouraged. For today's topic, I really wanted to talk about finding balance in life. And let's be real, we are probably never going to have a balanced life it's never going to be perfect it's never going to be what we want it to be but i think that's the beauty of it all it's also about this is i i want to talk about this <laughs> just preface this because i am seriously 
struggling with this right now is just how can I find balance for everything? How can I do all of the things that I want to do? And, you know, I've just come to this realization, like God has opened my eyes, friends, that we will never be able to fulfill what we desire if it's not in light of eternity. And so whenever I am just focusing on things that I need to get done and not in light of eternity, not in light of the cross, not in light of what Jesus has done for me and why I am doing these things, then I get overwhelmed, so overwhelmed. And friends, we that, that's the point. We shouldn't be overwhelmed because we should find complete satisfaction and joy and peace in the Lord. And I think as I'm recording this voiceover here, I'm just reminded yet again of you know, if we are truly seeking after the Lord, then we are going to deny ourselves and take up our cross daily and follow Jesus. And that means dying to ourselves, friends, and asking Him to give us His desires. And for me, at this point in my life, it's to let go of all of these desires and goals that I thought was right that I thought I needed and to do what the Lord has desired for me to do and that is to love on my family to serve them well my husband my children my extended family friends community church and if we can all have that um, that will be so much more than anything else that we would ever seek and so i'm not saying that i'm not gonna do to <laughs> i'm not saying that i'm not gonna do youtube y'all i am going to be intentional and find a block of time to but before youtube um and encouraging you guys i want to live out what the lord has called me to in this stage of my life and that is uh you know, I feel like it's not just a stage. This is what we should all be striving for. And it is to die to ourselves and our desires and our ways and our thinking and seek after the Lord and His will for us in loving our friends, neighbors, family, serving those around us so well. Um, loving them just like Christ so that they can see the love of Jesus through us and just like in galatians 2 20 i have been crucified with christ it is no longer i who live but christ who lives in me i know i've shared this one with you guys before and here's the rest of it and the life i now live in the flesh i live by faith in the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me let us not forget why we live the life that we live let us remember in light of eternity why we do the things that we do friends and please i pray that we will guard all of our hearts well this is including me that we can protect ourselves from the enemy and from everything that is pulling us away from the lord because at the end of the day if we're not looking at things in light of eternity then what are we doing living through our own desires not dying to ourselves and that is not where we want to be and so i have just been so convicted of this i feel like i'm always convicted of this from time to time because i'm a sinner and i have fallen short and i will never achieve this without the blood of jesus but friends i just want to rem remind all of us again that we have christ jesus our lord and that we can die every day because we have hope in Him. And there is no greater joy than to experience that love from God. And so, anyway, <laughs> I really hope that you guys find this somewhat encouraging. And what I'm going to do for the rest of the video is just play some music. And I really hope that you will just take this time to 
just think over these things that you know I have shared with you uh, what I am wrestling with right now I'm sharing with you right now and just what God has convicted me of and so yes be in prayer while you're finishing up your cleaning uh, these last I don't know four or five minutes here and remember that you are very much loved by the one who created you and he is your father and he loves you and yeah i will see you guys in my next one god willing and i hope that you will be encouraged to just share the love of christ to someone else today i'll see y'all in my next one bye guys Thank mm -hmm. you.